on top of the roof. So we got two units, no heat call. This is one of them. I don't know which ones, I think it's that one. So I had them turn on the cool, but the thermostat's on delay. Oh, yep, so it is that one. Okay, cool, so it's this one and this one, they're both not heating. So uh, yeah, cool, so we, now we know which one it is. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what's going on and then we'll do the same with that one. So here we go. All right, so we got this thing opened up. Looks pretty dirty in there. I don't know if this thing's ever been serviced. I'm gonna go ahead and jump R to W and see what it does. Okay, we have inducer, we have igniter, and we have ignition. Let's see if it stays a lit. All right, so we're checking the filters and they are disgusting. Let's see if we can see any light through that. There's the sun, nothing. Okay, so may have gone off on a high limit and then gone into a lockout because when I got up here the inducer and the fan were running and it was doing nothing else so yeah so we'll see how long it stays lit we're gonna go ahead and check the filter on that All other right, one so we got this guy open since so an AX42 it's loose as cra crazy look at that look at how loose that is that's ridiculous look at that. I'm able to slip it it's totally slipping that's ridiculous okay so yeah, so these things have never been serviced. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this guy and we'll see uh, how bad that belt is. But this belt, the belt itself actually doesn't look like it's in terrible shape. Oh, no, I take that back. There's a few cracks. I don't know if that shows up on camera. So we're gonna just change out the belt. Uh, we're gonna check this belt too. And then we'll go from there. And then I'm probably gonna clean up the burner assemblies and the flame sensor and all that good stuff. Because it looks pretty nasty. All right, yeah, so this one's all super crazy loose too. All right, so that's an AX36. All right, so we're just gonna check this run cap. It's a 15. Yeah, it's good, all right. These th this is like cracked. I don't know if they show up, but there's some crack here. See the cracks? So yeah, we're gonna change this belt and then we'll, we'll readjust this so it fits. So I'm gonna pull this all apart and get that all cleaned out. And I got filters and belts on the way. All right, so with these carrier package units, if you need to get to the burner assembly, you take this one screw out right here, just like that, and the whole thing. Just slide right out. And then you have full access. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the flame sensor, the igniter, and the burners, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the burners all taken apart. Here's our flame sensor. And then we have our igniter, and we're gonna clean all this up and get that all cleaned. Okay, so we got everything all cleaned up. It's looking a lot better. Yep, definitely a lot better. Uh, so we're going to put it all back together, and then we'll get our filters and belts and all that stuff done. November 2020, two years ago. Come on, man. It hasn't been serviced for at least that long. Uh, based on the condition of the burners, probably it was just filter changes. So anyway, we got our filters, we got our belts. We're going to go ahead, get the filters in there, and then get our belts in there. And then get everything readjusted. I got the new uh, belts on there, and look at that. It's already a thousand times better. So, looks like they were just stretched out and ready to break, so that's trash. So cool, we're gonna go ahead and fire this one up and then get started on cleaning up that other one. We're gonna get a amp draw reading on our blower motor, so I'm jumping R to G. Yeah. So we're getting about four-ish amps. Now keep in mind that the door is off, so it's not gonna be super accurate, but it's nowhere near its maximum, so I'm not worried about it. The amp draw is actually gonna be higher when the door's off because it's pulling in more air, so it's got more load. So anyway, uh, we're gonna put it all back together, fire up the heat, get them some heat in there because it is cold down there. And I'll leave the heat running on this one while I work on that one. All right, so she's up and running. We got new filters, new belt, clean burners, clean uh, igniter, clean flame sensor. 
So we're going to let that run, make sure it doesn't go off on high limit again. And while I'm waiting for that, we'll go ahead and start doing on that, or start working on that one. All right, yeah, so this, this one's pretty nasty too. So let's go ahead and get this clean. Well, the igniter on this one's not as bad. The flame sensor's pretty, pretty nasty. But we'll get this cleaned. All right, we got everything done. We're just gonna go ahead and fire this up and just get an amp draw. It looks normal, it's under three, so not too worried about it. And uh, once I got that new belt on it, it's not uh, as loose anymore. Yeah, see, it's much better. So anyway, we're gonna get this back together and fire up the, the heat. All right, so we're fighting, uh, firing up the heat now. So we got no, igni no igniter. Okay, so our, our ignition board was bad, uh, and I, I put in a new igniter just to be covered, so we're all hooked up. Make sure we got no loose wires, everything's plugged in. All right, cool. Fire in the hole. Yep, there we go. Oh, my help. I turned the gas back on. But we did actually have a spark, so that's good. We should be good to go now that I got the gas turned on. All right. So yeah, so dirty everything, dirty everything plus igniter module went bad. So we're good to go. We're back up and running. So hopefully this helps you out. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.